This, my friends, is a treasure chest. Inside of this treasure chest is, well, obviously treasure. My objective today is to click this thing a whole bunch of times and make the gold shiny things fly out until we become super rich. And then we can collect all those gold shiny things, and once we do that, just like so, we can come over here and upgrade the amount of damage that my clicker does. Good job, treasure clicker. And then I can burst out my trusty rusty auto clicker and start smacking the treasure chest a lot. And then once there's a lot of gold on the ground, I'll collect all of it and use that to upgrade this thing a whole bunch more times. And eventually, I'm just gonna be smacking this thing a whole quickly bunch. And I think there was a gem that just came out. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up for scientific purposes. Now the fun thing is, I get these different things. Passive damage, active damage. Every click has a 1% chance. We want this one. Uh-oh. We just got a reinforced chest. That wasn't great. But we're still doing a lot of damage, so that makes everything better. Now I have 167 money, so I can upgrade this to hopefully do a little bit more damage. So it does 21 click damage now, which means that every single click will open up a regular chest. I like how the game's like, you're doing zero damage every second when literally money is flying everywhere. Ooh, another gold, or another shiny gem. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to see how many gold coins I can get on the screen at the same time. Nope. Well, that was enough. The game just automatically picked him up for me because they know how special I am. Hey game, do that thing. Yeah, yeah, that one where we get a bunch more stuff. Now I can level this up again, which I want to do. And I can also actively level that up. But first I'm gonna purchase a new kind of chest. And then maybe a new, oh, I can't afford that one yet. But I can afford a whole bunch of these. Can I just do max? Yeah. And this thing is super easy to open up as well. Now I am curious what all these locked things are on the left side. I'm not sure what they do, but hopefully we can get some cool items eventually. I'm gonna purchase the next chest now. Mmm, rockbound chest. Well, you know what? We'll let the game automatically pick these up for me because I'm kind of lazy right now. Also, there's something called Radiant Touch over there that has like a yellow shiny gem. I wish I could have yellow shiny gems. And money, fly up into the top right corner. Yay, <laughs> 2,000 money now. Let's go ahead and spend that somewhere else. Now, we can do damage passively. I don't know what that does, so I'm just gonna max it out. Oh, well it passively does damage. Imagine that. And these reinforced chests are no joke, but they give a little bit more money. Yay, 2,000, $3,700, that's cool. So let's activate this maximum, maybe only once. Okay, I just got 10 levels. How much more damage can I do now? 189 per click, that's pretty solid. And I just upgraded my auto clicker. Yeah, that's much more satisfying. Ooh, a gem just popped out of that one. And I just got a star thing that showed up in the corner. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, it was a level up, duh. So the next chest is 7,000. Thankfully, I'm super close to that and I'll purchase it now. Bronze chest unlocked. Brrr. Okay, it dies pretty quickly. I like how the gold nuggets fly out of the top and before they hit the ground, another pile of gold nuggets flies out and hits the ones that are juggling them like that one. <laughs> Damage, 141 per second. I don't think that's how it works. Those are doing 345 every tick and I'm doing like, what? One click every millisecond. So I'm doing way more damage than 141 per second. Game's trying to gaslight me, telling me that I'm not good at clicking. Don't worry, I can cheat with an auto clicker. Oh, that was satisfying. Give me an, oh, it's 23,000, deal. Oh, sweet jerkins, I didn't even recognize it. But we got a shiny, a shiny just popped out. I don't know what that is, I need to go look at it. Hey, shiny thing, a yellow topaz. Oh, okay, and oh, I got it. What did I get the amethyst for? I don't even know. Equipped, critical damage, 200% crit damage, but 0.8 chance. And then we have the radiant, that's passive damage. Hmm, I kind of want this one, just for scientific purposes. Level that beast up, and ta-da. Oh yeah, oh, what is that? There's a brain that just popped out. You found a brain. I know, I just skull, duh, where'd it go? Hey, cool stuff, down here. Pirate, passive damage. Cool. Not as cool as me just smacking the button a whole bunch of times. There's another topaz. That means I can just level this thing up. Very good. Come on, give me those crits. That's what this did, right? No. More passive and active damage. I'm fine with that. But I am getting crits somehow. Oh, there's another amethyst. This is exciting now. I'm getting all sorts of the cool gems. But why was there a skull in a chest? Seems a little bit weird. Oh, also we have way more money than I needed. Sequoia chest. Oh my word, this thing has got a lot of hit points. Mines will waste all of our money in this. Okay, now I do almost twice as much damage. Oh, and there's a red gem. That must be a ruby or a red garnet. That gives me the phantom palm? I mean, yes. We're gonna equip that. 
Okay, <laughs> that's way more damage too. Hot dang, and another ruby. There's all sorts of gems flying out of these boxes now. We have the red garnet, we have the square things, we got the quartz, which I'm totally gonna use. Oh, another red garnet. This is fantastic. We're gonna totally use that to buy a lock pick because yes, I think it'd be fun to have. Ooh, and there's a hammeroid. What does the hammer do though? Okay, active, um, oh, loot potion. I mean, I can just, I buy all these things? Oh, golden touch? Oh, uh, dang, what does this do? XP potion for the next 30 seconds. Um, okay, I just bought like seven times XP. I don't even know why, not doing much. That I can tell. I don't really care. Am I using it? I don't think I'm using it. I'm not using it. Loot potion? Okay, here we go. Loot potion, go, go, go get that loot, go get that loot. Go get the, so there's no loot popping out other than more gold. Okay, no, oh, yeah, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go loot potion. Literally nothing, and look at that reinforced chest. Hot dang, that's a big one. And we got one gem out of that. That was unsatisfying. Give me an XP potion. This is what I want. I want that sweet, luscious XP. It's not really doing much. Maybe I don't care about the XP potion. Maybe I do, because it just leveled me up a little bit more. So that's fine. I'll just level up my Phantom Palm again because that's even more damage. I think what I'm doing crits is doing 4,300 damage. I'm not exactly sure, but it kind of looks like that. Oh yeah, we're getting so many gems now. Also, I have almost 10,000 or 100,000 money and I can buy this next chest. Ooh, the Ironbound chest. All right, it's got a lot of hit points, so let's actively level this up again. And now we do a lot more damage, even better. What does this do though? I'm gonna buy a hammer. Oh. Okay, that's kind of satisfying. That does way tons of damage. <laughs> All right, what about the lockpick? Oh, that's just a straight up 1% chance of it opening. That's kind of dumb. What is this one, loot potion? Let's do the damage potion. Okay, it doubles the damage. That's incredible. I feel like the damage potion might be the best potion that we've found so far. Oh yeah, because we're getting a lot more loot because we're opening more chests. Wait, hold on a second. Didn't think this through. I can smack them all at once. Why didn't I think of that either? We can just open all of the potions at once. And <laughs> look at all those gems on the screen. Yay, go team. All right, we're gonna do it again. All three potions, I leveled them up. Oh, satisfying. We're destroying everything so fast now. Kinda wanna save up for the golden touch. I don't know what it does, but it's worth 140,000 gold. And these reinforced chests have over a million hit points, so that's satisfying. Oh, sweet baby jerkins. Something exciting just popped out. It's a treasure chest out of a treasure chest. Oh, the prestige chest. Interesting. So if we find the prestige key, we can open it and then start over again, which is totally fine because then we get extra super duper levels. So I just ranked 10 and I've almost have 300,000 coins. Question is, do I use those coins to level up my chest again or do I activate my active power? I think the answer is we open up another chest. Oh, 300,000? Wow, that one looks really cool. How many hit points does it have? We'll see on the next one. And they have 219,000 hit points. Thankfully, I do 1,000 damage every hit. Well, 960 for you purists. And we just got a gem. I'm starting to think it was a bad idea to uh, upgrade my chest because this is going way slower. I wonder if I can get any more juice out of my auto clicker. Let's go from uh, one millisecond to point, aw. I can't do point one milliseconds. So we'll just start clicking, I guess. We could also level up some of our pointers. Yeah, we can get the Phantom Palm yet again. Okay, that does a little more damage. And I'm just excited for the steel, steel strike that we can get pretty soon. All right, collect all these things. I really need more damage. Max. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's what I want. I need that. Okay, steel strike. More active damage. Oh, yeah, that's satisfying. Punch that chest super duper hard. We're going Thanos mode on it. So I'm hoping that one of these, yes, will give me a bunch of stuff so we can max out with a whole lot of this. Okay, our damage is now doubled, which is incredible. And there's a free lock pick. That's kind of exciting. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can get the lucky lock pick. Hey, it actually worked. Oh, my sweet baby jerkins pickles. This reinforced chest had 2 million hit points. It took forever to open up. I'm really feeling like we need to keep activating our active level increase. So let's do exactly that. 250,000 money, maximum up. Oh yeah, we get 5,400 base damage now for 10,000 damage total. We're blazing through these chests. And the game's like, you're doing 145 damage per second. I don't think you know what that means, game. I really don't think you know what that means. I'm just gonna keep upgrading this. 
Every time the game collects my money, I'm just gonna upgrade it. Because the next chest is $1.3 million, and I'm broke right now. The other good news is if I collect that, I should be able to level up my Steel Strike again to give me 15% more damage. Oh yeah, 140, or 14,000 per click. You know what also sad? Every upgrade now is like 150,000 gold. Good news, my friends. I've cracked the $1 million mark. Now I'm concerned. Do I use that? Ooh, I also leveled up. Do I use that $1 million to buy the new chest, or should I just waste it on active levels? I'm gonna, I'll just go to one. Just buy one, and then two. Oh my word, they're getting so expensive. That's why I need to buy them all. They're like Pokemon, I have to collect every upgrade. Oh yeah, that's so much faster. And good thing is I'm doing 145 damage every second. Either that or I'm just uh, breaking the game. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the game's just kind of broken right now. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, this is, this is crazy. We just passed 1.3 million and we finally got the prestige key. I'm a little bit concerned about that because we could prestige or I could buy another chest for 1.3 million. Okay, I just bought the ocean chest. How many more? That's the last chest. Okay, we have to do this. Open sesame or chesame, if <laughs> you know what I, oh, that one's called the lethal one. The lethal touch. Okay, that's kind of insane. Cursor bonus every time a chest is open has a 6% chance to give double XP? I mean, we gotta go for it. Actually, what does the prestige do? Oh man. And these just have a lot of hit points too. Ooh, blue rock. I just got a yellow rock. Yeah. Not just a yellow, gold rock. Oh, lethal touch, we can do it. We can, we can get this one and then do that. Hey, I do 250 damage per second now. That's, seems to go a lot quicker. <laughs> I like this, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to go back to like the first chest and just explode it. Like I'm not even, that's passive damage. <laughs> yeah, but those rocks only give like one or two money and this one gives way more. Look at this one has a base damage of 1.7 million. We have to go for it before I prestige. I'm also really wanting to level these up and then buy one of each, including the golden touch. Also a mini chest. <laughs> Spawns a small mini chest. Okay, we gotta get a million coins for that. Just a cool million, you know, no big deal. All right, here we go. Let's pop these and then go for it. And this one, go for it. All right, these chests are disappearing quickly. We have like 15 seconds to make as much money as possible. My goodness, the reinforced chest had a lot. And okay, we just got like 700,000 money from that thing. Come on, blow it up, blow it up. Good, good, good. We have so many chests being broken right now. Yeah. Okay, I want to see, we go from one point, yeah, 400,000 money every time we open the chest. What is that? Oh, a little hammer. <laughs> I have a feeling that those potions are definitely the way to go because they're kind of cheap now, aren't they? Like if I just buy them and we can just smash them like that and then open them up. And the golden touch is a little expensive at 469,000 money, but that's okay because we have the other ones that aren't as expensive. But I do want to buy the mini chest, so level that up first, and then buy it. I just bought a mini chest. I just click it. Oh my word! And that's just a passive that always happens now, isn't it? I wonder what the key does. I don't know, but I've never seen the kind of rock that's coming out of it. Let's keep drinking some potions. Yes, keep smashing the chest super hard. Hey, that's fun. We got a free potion out of this one too. So all I have to do is, uh, well, let's upgrade that again. Buy another one and go boop, 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 click. So we're closing very quickly into 5 million. I can level up the lethal touch again. That sounds really great. Oh yeah, that's a lot more damage too. And another topaz just flew out. Fantastic. I am extremely tempted to go into here and just max upgrade all of that. Ah, but I'm so close to the 5 million for the next chest. So close that I'm going to use a pickaxe. And it broke. And then a hammer. Okay. <laughs> Those hammers are insane. <laughs> 74,000 damage per hit. And, oh, 5.3. I need 5.5. Come on, man. Let's go. Real question is, is which is better? Is the steel strike better? Because the active damage is higher, 90%, but that crit, I feel, I almost feel like the steel strike is better than the lethal touch. I feel like this is just a little quicker. I can't tell though. They're so close to the same. Okay, this one says 273 DPS. Okay. Okay, this one does do a higher active damage. You can tell right here. All right, we're gonna stay with the steel strike. And that's where it really matters is the active damage. Hot dang, we got it. We got the 5.5. Purchase that green poisonous chest. Wait, there's more. The poison chest. I'm kind of concerned about something named poison chest. And how much did this one cost? 13, 20 million money. Hot dang, that's a lot of pennies. Also, I've seen one mini chest in the last 
well, I mean, the whole time I played. I bought that for a million dollars. It spawns a chest every 296 seconds. How many minutes is that? Five? It's not worth it. But what is the key, dude? That's the real question. Instantly opens a chest. Purchase for 15 million. Uh, two to four extra gold coins. Oh, wow. Fancy. I also just recognized that that's 450,000. I thought it was 45,000. We're not going to be opening up the XP potions anymore. But I am going to go my passive and we're going to max upgrade that. All right, level 63. And now my damage is <laughs> 82,000 per second. Wait, how fast does it go? That's actually pretty quick. By our powers combined with the active click and passive attack, we shall destroy the poison chest. I really want to know how far these go. I actually, I do, but I don't because they're so expensive now. You know, I just kind of zoned out for a minute there. Like, I don't know why, but uh, it's, it's just kind of gone. My brain just kind of disappeared. Go! Okay, this is quicker. I think that was why, because like, I wasn't doing anything and the sound of the repetitive click, 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 click. That was kind of satisfying. But I am totally at that stage where I just need to keep upgrading my active level. Which is kind of annoying, but they're really expensive too. Trying to find the one of these that gives us the highest active damage. And I think it still is that steel strike too. Come on, money. There we go. Now we'll upgrade you again. So I think one of these times, yeah, it's over a million gold every upgrade now. Oh, look at that reinforced chest. It's so stinking strong. Boop, broke it. That was good. Very satisfying. Much wow. All right, we're smashing through that reinforced chest. Ooh. And now we're going to buy a steel strike Woo! upgrade because that does a lot more damage. Okay. How much is it? 115%? 15% damage increase is huge. Now the question is, do I keep buying these? Yes, is the answer. Oh my sweet goodness. I just bought max. Okay, that's fine. I'm doing almost 100,000 per hit now. And look at these chests just getting blown up every second. Can I buy another one? Oh, it's 1.9 million for an upgrade. I also have 25 rubies or red garnets. My goodness. I haven't been even paying attention to these things. I just kind of want to see if I upgrade my this one all the way. It still only does 20% active damage compared to the 115% over here. But I did find another hammer, so that's cool. So let's spend my $2 million on another upgrade. Wow. All right, there's 10, no, that's 100,000 damage every attack plus 82,000 passive damage. All right, let's hit this because I have a free loot potion. We just want as much money in the shortest amount of time possible. Come on, keep bumping those. Those are 44,300 money every one of those gold. Yeah, that's a good million. 700,000 for that collection. How much do we get out of this collection? Uh, uh, that was over a million, wasn't it? And the loot potion ran out, so I'm just gonna keep firing those things off. We're trying to get 20 million money out of this. These reinforced chests are the worst though. My goodness, they take forever to open and they don't really give much more money. So let's just keep buying a few of these, level them up, buy, 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 400,000, doing it. All right, they're probably not worth any more than that though. So we'll go from 5.1 million to almost 6.1, a million for every gold collection. That's fantastic. One eternity later. There, oh, it was so close, 19.7 million. Come on, 20 mil, come on, 20 mil, come on, 20 mil, come on, 20 million. <laughs> Purchase, ooh, the golden chest. It gets better than 125 million. I mean, let's just crack this open with the hammer. Oh my goodness, is that chest intense. It has 13 million hit points. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna prestige right now. Open prestige screen. What? I have 59 skill points? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, exit that. Prestige mode. Oh, uh, I'll lose all good treasure items. Yes, we have to. Oh, that's terrible. Um, coins have 30% more gold. Hardened fist? You choose one item with after each prestige? That's fun. I like the wealth though. Wealth is solid. Oh my goodness. More treasure, XP boost. I don't even know what XP does, but these are stupidly expensive. Auto clicker performs one. I don't think so. I have my own auto clicker. 
Yeah, but we want that active damage. That's what we really want. And now we're just back to sad levels. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for Treasure Chest Clicker. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scatter D, Grayson, Alvora, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Please, Kodino, Fussy Badge, Ritla the Warrior, Sniper, Noland, Kyler J, Pink Tiger, Zarnoff, Maxer, Brow, BC Engineer, Sakars and Rax, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Xanius, Auto Dave, Ben, Nikki J, Teddy Hippias, Ninjor, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, and Kikin H.